Hey guys, this is Minnie checking in and it's been a moment since I have done one of these videos. I have been super busy. Um, I gave birth recently, about three months ago, and I have been so like caught up taking care of this baby and just spending lots of quality time with him, so I haven't had a chance to get around to this pump uh, review that I promised I would do. So since baby's not here, I'm going to do a quick review for you guys. Some of you guys have been asking me what I think about it and um, is it worth it? So I'm gonna do that right now. So if you guys are new here, thanks for joining me today and um, don't forget to press that like and subscribe button for more videos like this. So um, let's get started. You guys hear that? I mean, it's pretty far, but um, uh, every now and then, it kind of gets clogged, so I will get to that in a moment. But um, let's talk about the pros. So the pros, um, obviously, they're portable. I'm not stuck to anything. I am um, free to go. There's no um, strings stuck to the wall, so I can do anything. I can just get up, walk around, and you know, do light stuff. So if I want to like clean up here and there, I can do it. Sorry, I'm a mess. I just came back from a show and so uh, <laughs> I'm still in my costume, but my boobs were super engorged, so I have to do it like pump like ASAP. But anyways, um, I put it in a bra like this. Um, this is a nursing bra where you can just, you know, open it up and um, feed your baby. This is really uh, nice and snug, so um, you don't feel like your breast pump is going to fall out, which is something you need to have in order to get a good um, positioning for this breast pump because if it's too loose it might like come off with this pump uh, I like the fact that you can pump about five ounces a little bit more you can push a little bit more but um, five ounces is like where they have the um, number on the uh, the thing let me show you I think this one's done this one is um, just freshly pumped so as you can see I'm gonna take this off by pressing this button right here and um, you get about five ounces. So there's that number that I was talking about. Yeah, so there it is. Um, you can push it more because it still has some room but if you push more it might leak which is a con that I would like to mention. Um, you can see that uh, it leaks here, right there. So sometimes if it doesn't go in through here and out through this hole in here then it'll leak down this way and then you'll be like, um, you know, wet around your bra area. So yeah, so it doesn't really keep all the milk. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there it is, see? It'll leak through the sides here and there. And um, yeah, so you gotta be, you gotta get a good position with this pump. So there you have it, the um, LV pump I just finished and um, I think I have to do a second one because my boobs are super, super engorged. So, um, yeah. Like you can see right here, this is my other boob. Leakage. Um, I mean, sometimes I get lucky and sometimes I don't, but um, yeah, you just have to find the right position and maybe sometimes you find the right position and it still, it still leaks, who knows? But um, this is how you take it out. And the thing about this pump is it has a lot more um, steps to clean. So you have this, one, two, and then you have three, four, you gotta take this one off, and then five. So we have five, um, you know, steps to clean. Here, um, you also have to clean in this area in case it gets wet, which it did. So, um, like I said, I was walking around and you can see that it's like four and a half. It can go up to five, but depending on the way that you position your body, um, your pump will um, stop and let you know that the, uh, the containers are full. But you can see it's not full, so you can go ahead and push it and see if you can, can get more milk out. This advertises that you can do a lot of activities and whatnot, but you, you have to just do light, medium work. Don't be doing yoga because yoga is just gonna like have the milk go everywhere and it's just not gonna be worth it. So there you have it, here's the LV pump. Uh, you can buy one and then pump it on each side or you can buy two. So for both of them is about $500 or for one, 250. But I think it's not 
convenient to have one pump and move back and forth so I just bought both um, it is expensive but for me I'm paying for convenience it's so important to have something like this especially when I go on the plane because I travel so much and my flights are like six hours plus when that happens I need to pump every two three hours and this is so it, it's so handy like you just you know put it on 20 minutes later take it off put it in your bag your breast milk bag and store it in the cooler you just gotta clean it with either a wet wipe or go to the restroom clean it but you know in the airplane the aircraft um, the water is not clean so I suggest not to just wait until you get off the plane and wash it in their public restroom or you know do a wipe like I do it does come with uh, two chargers so you can charge at the same time and I think it lasts about three to four max pumps so 20 minute pumps yeah but I always charge it after I use it right away just in case, you know, it dies on me. Oh, which is another thing. It does, even though it's fully charged, you turn it on, you press this button, and then you press this button to start pumping. But then sometimes when I put it on and start pumping, it stops out of nowhere and it loses power. And so I have to wait a couple seconds and then it'll start up again once I... Um, restarted with my fingers so I don't know what's the deal maybe there's a glitch but I do have that problem um, there is another uh, pump out there on the market but the reason why I chose this one is because it is much smaller like on my boob I feel like it's big but the other pump which is called the willow is even bigger and even though it's even bigger it doesn't um, have the container it can't carry as much as uh, the LV pump so this can carry five ounces the willow I think it carries about about four and you have to um, at the time you have to buy their bags and their bags are exclusive and they're about 50 cents so you're spending a lot more money maybe a couple more hundred dollars a, a month on the bags but they recently um, uh, revamp their pump and you can choose between a bag or pour it into another container if you want. The Willow pump only has I think two or three parts cleaning so much less than this. The Willow pump has one charger so you have to you know switch back and forth between the two but with the one charger um, it lasts longer than these. For sure I got the LV because it's much smaller and it's quieter as well and um, it carries more um, volume of uh, breast milk than the willow pump so yeah um, that's my review that those are my thoughts I don't know if you guys are interested in something like this if you are um, I don't know what else to say I've been using this for like a couple months now and so far um, at first I did drag my feet and I think it's because Breast pumping is exhausting in general, so I kind of like connected these two with the um, breastfeeding and breast pumping and you know, you know, having these. So it was very tiring, but after you get into the motion and the flow of it and washing it and cleaning it and sterilizing it, it's not that bad. And I think that for me, it works well with my lifestyle because I travel and I don't stay in one place all the time. And especially when you go to restaurants and stuff and you're having a good time um, or having happy hour with your friends and all of a sudden your boobs are huge, you need this like ASAP. Just a quick 15 minute pump and you are good to go. So um, I would say yay for this but depending on your lifestyle. If you think it's too pricey, which, you know, it can be something like way off the bandwagon for a lot of people, but if you don't need it and you don't go out a lot, then, you know, it's not worth it. But for me, it is so, so worth it. Like right now, I'm free. I could do whatever I want. Um, I'm gonna go for a second pumping session. So, the great thing is that it does last two or three pumping sessions. So yeah, you don't have to charge until later on. Um, I think that's it. Um, my mind's not really like um, focused much. I'm thinking about baby at this time. And so uh, I'm trying to think what else if uh, I forgot something. But let's just recap the LV pump portable, um, a little bit of work to clean, but it does have a good amount to pump, 
which is what I usually do. If I need to redo it, then I'll redo it. But anyway, um, that is my review. I hope you guys like it. I hope this was helpful. And if you have any questions and I, I didn't mention anything, then um, please sound off below and I, I will try my best to get back to you guys as much as I can. Um, with baby around these days, it's just been really hard to just do videos like this and try to, you know, give you guys some insights on new products, new makeup, um, new clothing. Everything has just been so crazy. There's just no time. It feels like I haven't done anything with baby all day, but he requires my attention all the time, like 24 seven, every single second minute, I would like leave him for a moment and then I have to be back. And I can barely sleep. So um, yeah, it's been pretty crazy since baby came, but um, I'm glad that I was able to sit down right now and do this video for you guys. It's about 2 a.m. And I'm gonna clean this up and then um, take off my mask and then go to the airport. So, I will try my best to do more videos like this in the future for you guys and, um, yeah, be more connected and uh, um, show you all the goods that I can share with you guys. Alright guys, so thanks for joining me and I will catch you guys next time. Toodles! Much love! LV. So worth it.